Today's episode is the first of a series I want to call Hey Lizzie. Well, hey Lizzie is going to be when you guys ask me a question and I'll make a whole video answering it. Without further ado, here's the first Hey Lizzie episode. I get messages from people all the time asking me, Hey Lizzie, do you get it? Do you, get, do you get the joke now? Because they said, hey Lizzie. Anyways, so they say, hey Lizzie, what camera should I get? So I thought it would be a really good idea to make a video about the different types of people with different needs and the different cameras that would be best for them. So the first type of camera is the everyday. And this is for the type of person who wants something portable, who maybe likes to keep their camera on auto, wants to just throw a filter on their photo, post it to Instagram, maybe send it to their mom. They just want the camera to just take a great picture. So the first camera I wanna recommend is the one that you already have, and it already exists in your iPhone. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna be talking about the iPhone X. You already own a phone. You already own the camera inside your phone. You don't have to get a second device. You just already have it all compact into one thing. How great is that? It shoots 4K at 60 frames per second. It has a 12 megapixel camera with a wide and telephoto lens. It has that really cool portrait mode, which, you know, who wouldn't like? It's really fancy lighting to make you look wonderful. And I just think, why do you need two devices sometimes if your phone takes great photos? Just stick with that. So the second camera I'm going to recommend is the Sony RX105. I own it, but I forgot it. Hold on. I have this really cute case on it that I'm going to take off. Hold on. <laughs> to unscrew it. I really like this camera. It has a 20 megapixel one inch sensor. It's like the largest sensor for most compact cameras. It's super fast. It can take 24 raw photos per second. A lot of people use this to vlog right now. It's super popular. The last great thing I will say about it is that you can use it manually. So on manual mode, it's literally a DSLR, but in a tiny package. I love it. I took it to Thailand with me um, because I really loved the HFR setting and I'll show you some of those clips right now. So the next category of cameras I'm gonna talk about is the intermediate level camera. The intermediate level camera is for someone who loves photography, really wants to start getting into it, and wants a good camera to to start learning with, doesn't want to break the bank, um, wants to start investing in lenses because as you know, you can take those with you even when you get your next body. So what camera would be best for you, intermediate person? Let me tell you. So the one I'm gonna recommend is the Canon T7i. This is great because now you have interchangeable lenses and you can start building your lens kit. But as far as the camera itself goes, it shoots 1080p at 60 frames. It has 24 megapixels. It has 45 autofocus points, which is good, but it's not great in low light. I would immediately consider getting a lens like the Nifty 50, for example, that has a low aperture. And if you're a Sony person, the equivalent would be an A6300 or 6500. So the third category would be the pro. This is if you're taking your photography skills to the next level, you're maybe starting your own business, and you need a camera that matches your skill set. The first one I'm going to recommend is the Sony a7R II. So first of all, it has a 42.2 megapixel CMOS sensor, which is dope. It's high performing at high ISOs, it has a high dynamic range, it has 399 autofocus point sensors. It has built-in IS. It shoots 4K. What doesn't it do? The second camera I would recommend in the pro range is the Canon 5D4. It has a 30.4 megapixel CMOS sensor again, and it also shoots 4K, but that's kind of all I have to say about it in comparison to the Sony. You'll still always have that Canon look. That's the thing, and that's why people keep going back to Canon. Those are some of the cameras that I would recommend, and again, that's just my opinion. At the end of the day, I'm a firm believer in that you are the one taking the photo, and you're the one deciding on the composition and the lighting, and it's not just your gear. So that's it for this episode of Hey Lizzie. Let me know in the comments below what you wanna see in the next one, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.
did my first YouTube video and it's over and I was really awkward but it's fine.